Hey everybody, this is Ori from OneScales. In today's video, I'm gonna to talk to you about pass keys, which is one topic that I'm really excited about and I think it'll be used very, very much in the web. Pass keys is here to solve password problems, right? So let me give you a quick introduction. As you know, when you authenticate an account, when you log into an account of your Amazon account, you wanna buy something or eBay or Shopify or any, any site, what you have to do is you have to remember and input your email and password or your username and password. And as you probably know, passwords have a lot of issues because they have security issues, they have hacking issues, they have uh, time issues. You have to remember your password, you have to input it. Uh, many of you reuse the same passwords. You have easy passwords to guess that attackers or others can guess. Um, you might have given a password to someone, maybe a friend or something, and you don't want them to have access anymore. You have to reset it, you have to spend time, all that. So Passkeys is here to solve the problem of passwords, to make passwords, logins, and authentication better, more efficient, and more secure. Um, so let's say, explain some of the topics, and I wanna show you some examples, and also give you some advantages, disadvantages, and where things might go in future, okay? Uh, so first of all, uh, some advantages are, uh, pass keys don't actually have a password. They're actually passwordless. So you use your device, either your computer or in many cases your phone, to authenticate yourself. So right now when you use your phone, if you have Apple, you use your face ID or you use a, um, your you know, fingerprint, for example, on your laptop or on your Android phone, you use your fingerprint. Um, those allow you to authenticate yourself, to identify yourself securely and very quickly. You don't have to type in passwords, you don't have to reset them, you just use your phone, you use a computer, you look at, it looks at your face, looks at your fingerprint, and you're good to go. So Passkeys does exactly this. It lets your device store your password uniquely for each project, so you, or each uh, website, or each web app, and it lets you authenticate yourself very quickly without you having to remember all these things and reuse these things and be less secure. Let me give you an example here and then I'll talk about some other topics, okay? So let's say right now uh, I have an eBay account, I just created one just for this video, and typically what I would do is I would actually sign in, click on sign in, and put in my email and put in a password and then sign in. But I can, actually I can sign in without a password because I've enabled, right here, let me restart this right now, I've actually enabled this. So if I click here, all I have to do is click on sign in, and I just use my fingerprint on my laptop, and I'm logged in, that's it. I authenticated myself, I'm good to go. Now, I can also use the same authentication to log in with my phone, and I'll show you an example or two. So for example, let's say I'm on my Shopify site, instead of logging in with my email and password, I can just click on this icon here, right here, and it'll actually allow me to authenticate either with my computer, or I can actually authenticate with a different device. For example, if it, I have my pass key on my phone, I can scan this QR code with my camera and I can log in with my phone very simply. It's a really, really nice way. I don't need to remember passwords, more secure, et cetera. Okay, uh, so before I jump into the advantages, disadvantages, I always wanna mention in our videos, if you have any questions, we're here in the comments. Uh, ask questions, we're here to go deeper answer your questions, create a community, and make th and the world more efficient, share information so you guys know more information better, and also we would love to always learn from you guys as well. Okay, so uh, for example, if I were to click here on the different device, I can actually go scan it on my phone. This is just a screenshot because my phone is actually recording, and I can actually use the Face ID, click on Continue, it'll use Face ID and I'll log in to the device itself. Okay. Um, so let's talk about a few advantages, disadvantages. So number one, which we all already covered some of them, uh, one of the advantages is you don't have to remember passwords. You're not worried about weak passwords such as you know easy to guess passwords. You're not worried about someone hacking your passwords. And a, a big thing is a lot of you guys reuse passwords across many different sites. So if one of the sites gets hacked, the hacker can actually log into your other accounts because you reuse the passwords, okay? Uh, second one is Obviously, uh, you're using your, you always have your phone next to you, uh, your computer, typically your phone next to you. So why not have the security that you already trust, which is face ID and fingerprint and all that, to open your phone and lock your phone and lock all your important things. Why don't you trust it to also secure your passwords and your login? So this is kind of the, the advantages. Okay, some of the disadvantages are, uh, number one, it's a really new technology, fairly new technology. And uh, there's very few sites that actually use this right now. So I, if you notice, for example, Shopify uses it in part, uh, eBay uses it, there's some other sites like Yahoo, you can use it, et cetera. Um, there's very few sites that use it right now and the technology is still kind of being, um, 
it's being worked on, it's being implemented. I think uh, it's pretty good for now, it's not perfect, uh, but there's not many sites that use it, so people are not used to it yet, right? People still like their username and password, et cetera. So that's a, a, a disadvantage. Another disadvantage is uh, the, the actual passkey itself is sitting on your device. So for example, if it's stored on my phone, which I have a lot of passkeys on my phone, if I wanna share this with someone else, I wanna share it with a friend, this is kind of a problem right now. So th this solution, uh, there's not a great solution. There are some password managers, other things that allow you to do th these kind of things, but this kind of uh, sharing is actually not enabled for the most part uh, in this, and there's actually advantages for it. So if you don't share your login, your password, your passkey with someone else, it's harder to, to uh, attack you, right? So it's actually both a downside and it's also an upside. It's a benefit because if you can't share with others, that you will be hacked less, right? You be, other people can access it le less, but it's less convenient for some cases, okay? Um, what else is, is uh, important to know? Um, I'm gonna share with you guys in, this, uh, in the, the YouTube comment, or in the YouTube description, excuse me, some links. Uh, if you guys wanna read more about it, you can read more about the FIDO, in the FIDO Alliance, you can read more uh, that uh, Apple allows you to implement things in Google, et cetera, Microsoft. I can give you some links that you can read more or you can ask questions if you wanna understand better. So that's pretty much it. I, I, I hope it, this is clear for you guys. I hope you're excited as much as me. I hope you should try it. Try to you know, use your Shopify or Amazon, or excuse me, eBay or Yahoo, et cetera. Try to use those accounts, get a feel how it works. Um, make sure you secure your passwords no matter what, even if you don't use passkeys. Try to secure your accounts, your logins better. And that's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed this video. This is a quick introduction. This is not a techni one, technical one. Um, let me know what you think about this video. Let me know what you think about passkeys. If you like this video, share, subscribe, uh, say hello, ask a question. We're here. Uh, much appreciated, guys.